Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel because in this episode I'm going to be forging a new spring for my leg vise. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so I've done a video already on the, um, the little leg vise that I've got and one of the things that was wrong with that is that the spring is not original. So, before putting it into service, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make myself a new spring out of this piece of mild steel flat bar. Okay ladies and gentlemen, so this is the spring that I want to replace. So to do that with my flat bar, I'm just going to take a measurement. I'm going to take that measurement from the top of this collar up here to this corner of the other side of the leg down here. So when I look at that, I'll see that's about 340 millimeters, which is almost uh, 14 inches. I'll need a 3 eighths of an inch allowance up here for the, for the little bend, so it'll lock into that collar. So if that's 340 millimetres plus 10 mil to stick out there, which is 38, brings it up to 350 millimetres. That's the size of the bar that I need to cut off and take out to the forge and get forging with it. Well, let's go. Thank <laughs> you. 
at me. I'm forging a leg vice. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> yeah, look, look. Oh, look what I just made. <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm just going to finesse the end of this by just forging it around the piece that we are about to uh, put on. Pop it on there. Excellent. That gets it just where we want it so that it wraps around that outside leg, which is very important to stop it slipping sideways. All I've got to do now, put one bend in it, and then we're going to test fit it to make sure it's all those bends are, are correct. We'll do that now. Here we go. Yep, that's good. That's just right. That's just where I want it. I love a little bit of a waffle. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm holding this in position before I uh, let it cool because I want to know whether there's enough spring action in it. We don't want too much because it will stress it too much. And we don't want not enough or it's not going to push that jaw out. So this, this is about right where I've got it now for mild steel. This is just mild steel. It's not, it's not spring steel. You don't need spring steel for these. I, I make them with mild and it works fine. So there you go. That is, that is about perfect. With this jaw apart about as far as it is now because it will be compressed slightly and then the uh, screw will go into the screw box and then it will have permanent tension on it the whole time. So that's great. I'm very happy with that. That's awesome. We'll take it back in the workshop now and reassemble it. Okay folks, so there we are. I have now reforged myself a new spring so it's out with the old and in with the new all we've got to do now reassemble this vise and check it to make sure it works properly so we're going to do that right now let's go So that was a little test fit that I just did there and I can see that my bends aren't right so I'm going to need to take it back to the forge and just readjust that bottom bend so that it's so that when it comes together it's, it's working properly. It's just a minor adjustment, it's nothing really. So ladies and gentlemen, there you are. We've forged the spring now for our little leg vise. It's opening and shutting correctly. It's all in the proper alignment. That is the way that that vise is supposed to be. I threw out that little spring that someone had put in there. I didn't want that. I want it to be as original as possible. Plus I wanted to show you guys that if you do get a vise, it doesn't have a spring or it's the wrong one. It's a very simple project. Even if you're a rank beginner, you can complete that project. You can have your vise the way you want it or, or any other little parts that might be missing. And so, uh, and so that's going to wrap that up now. That vice is almost ready to go. I am going to do a refurbishment of it probably now and, and, and do a few other little things. I'll show that in another video. I want to keep this one brief. Uh, so 
once again, thanks for watching my little video. I hope you're uh, following it all along and, and getting that smithy uh, ready to go so we can start forging in there as we are now. And, uh, and I look forward to your company then. So thanks for watching. See you later.